So I'm running a little bit late at the moment. I'm supposed to be catching a bus to Paphos. Uh, leaves in about 10 minutes, so I'm just sort of rushing a little bit. But I'll get there, it'll be fine. Still not ideal. Okay, so I've just arrived in Limassol. Um, we're only doing a day trip here, so I'm actually sort of making my way through to Paphos. Uh, originally, I was just going to go straight to Paphos, but the bus driver's like, no, nope, last stop, get off. Even though it is actually the right bus that goes the whole way through. So I'm just going to jump ahead a day and do it today instead. So we stopped off at the Newport, so I need to head basically that way. Go right and into the city. Got some private charters here. Get the feeling Mediterranean charters from Cyprus, especially Limassol, would be very, very popular. Taking you to Israel, but I forgot. Just imagine how expensive that will be though. It's definitely not the season for it either. It's just gone into, again, yeah, it's just gone into winter. Now we look at them all. There we've got the Limassol cats. Oh, you sound funny. The babies, two babies. I want to be here with the mother. Oh my god, that's so cute. And now we've got the promenade along the water. Now it's just the busy area right farther down. I'm not going to be able to get there. I'm not going to worry about going there today. It's mainly just a quick, quick squiz, it's a quick look. That's beautiful water, actually. It honestly looks so swimmingable. Definitely not a word, but it's the word I'm going to use. So it looks like there's a beach type area over there, just in front of the skyscraper. So I'll probably make my way there and then I'll turn around and find a place to eat. Start making my way in the other direction. Hey, honestly, the uh, beaches don't look that inviting, but the water certainly does. Just walking along the beautiful promenade. Uh, as with the beaches, water beats back home by a mile. Sand, however, nothing will beat the crystal sand of Australia. No way. It sort of just has an edge on the grey sand that we've got here. Oh, but definitely a place to return to during summer. Getting yeah, this here. Looks like a small little castle that used to be the main castle in the area. It's very small. Don't have time to have a proper look inside, but that's alright. Uh, I've got quite a few places in Paphos to check out. Oh, Buster Paphos is late. Oh, hold up. Oh, nope, that's for 
something else. Okay. Waiting is all we can do. That's no light. <coughs> we got there eventually. So now we are off to Paphos. Three days there. Honestly, that was a bit of a pain in the ass, but I have arrived in Paphos. And this place here has some huge, incredible archaeological sites from a ridiculous amount of time ago. So that will be a job for the week. Now, I need to get to the water, which is where I'm staying. I genuinely don't know what's up with the clocks as well. It is 5.30 at the moment, and look at how dark it is. It might as well be 8.39. What is this? Very confused. Okay, so I found the hotel easy enough. Basically, you're just given a list of instructions. There's no one actually here. But, we've got a beautiful waterfront. I'll wait until the sun comes up tomorrow and we'll have a quick look. But for now, time to turn in, I think. Good morning in Paphos. There we go, showing off the beautiful waterfront of Paphos. Not going to show my face because I have not woken up or had a shower. I am just hungry and I need food. Once that's done, then I'll fix myself up. Okay, so that's my stop right up there, above the ice cream place. Okay, so you can see in the distance there, that's one of the archaeological sites. So basically that whole peninsula over that side is one of the zones. I'm going to go there tomorrow. Today, I just want to wander down the beach. Mind as a being back home. So I've now entered the resort town side of Paphos. And it's still very quiet considering we're not in not in summer. I can respect this. It looks fantastic. Imagine how heaving it will be if it was summer. So the reason I came so unprepared is I left my bag in Larnica. So I only had a limited amount of stuff to bring with me. I didn't bring all the stuff that I should have, especially if this is what I'm dealing with. Ah I think I'll get judged if I go swimming in these. Done weirder things. judged all I want for wearing pants to the beach, but I don't care. Alright, 
So we've had a lot of military aircraft to fly over all morning. I'm not too sure what's going on. There was a couple of little of them that flew like a couple hundred feet off the ground. Uh, just if you could see it from my uh, um, the helmet. So I don't know. It's strange to see what's going on. Because I just had another two fly over the head just then. But let's just be more focused on the lovely beautiful that water. So it's just crazy some of the people that I've actually met on this trip. The latest one, he actually had a hell of a story for me last night. He is from Aden in Yemen. He was originally one of the very high ups, an engineer for the um, president. Again, don't know how reliable the story is, but um, just hearing him talk was like, oh damn, this is a hell of a story. Um, he had to flee when the uh, war started, had some burns from being tortured on his arms. It's just the fact that these things happen and I'm actually hearing these stories now makes me really wonder why more than anything. It's just something that I feel like I need to in a way see for myself. But that's a, that's, that's a tall order to say the least. Something for something to think about for another time. You got a little nice warm spot to hide, have you? Oh, look at you. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll leave you.